Hello guys, welcome back to Medicodes. Today in this video, we'll be discussing about the knee PG Anastasia PYQs from 2018 to 2024, all completely done in this video. So mechanism of action of curare group muscle relaxants answer is competitively blocking the binding of acetylcholine to its receptors. So curare group drugs like tubocurarin and rocurarium rocuronium are non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers and they competitively inhibit the acetylcholine from binding to nicotinic receptors at the neuromuscular junction, preventing the depolarization and muscle contraction. Next, nerve used to monitor the neuromuscular blockade is answers ulnar nerve. It is stimulated at the wrist to monitor the neuromuscular blockade as it innervates the adductor pollicis muscle and the contraction of muscle is assessed using techniques like train of force stimulation to cause the degree of blockade. Next, Malampati classification. Um, according to the image, Malampati classes, here it is class 2. And I've provided the Malampati scoring uh, here. And uh, it's a very important scoring um, and a very important question in Anastasia. And please learn it. This is a question which you should not miss out because everyone will be making it correct. And so class 1, there is complete visualization of the soft palate. Class 2, there is complete visualization of the uvula. And class 3, there is visualization of only the base of the uvula. And class 4, soft palate is not visible at all. Next one, device with Murphy's eye. It is endotracheal tube. So here you can see the endotracheal tube and Murphy's eye is a side opening near the distal tip of the endotracheal tube and ensures ventilation if the primary opening is blocked. Next, best, best circuit for spontaneous breathing is Mapleson A circuit, which is also known as a Magill circuit. All of the Mapleson circuits, uh, please learn. A and D are very important and E and F are also important. Uh, please keep, uh, please learn about them because questions keep coming up from these areas. Next question, best anesthesia for preeclampsia is the epidural anesthesia. And uh, because it avoids airway manipulation, provides controlled blood pressure reduction and improves the utero placental perfusion. Next one, alternative drug if epinephrine fails in cardiac arrest is, answer is amiodron. Both epinephrine and amiodron are uh, used in cardiac arrest patients. Amiodron, 300 mg IV is used for refractory ventricular fibrillation or pulseless VT when epinephrine fails. Now moving on to 2019 PYQs of Anastasia. First question, mechanism of Kurari group. Again, it's a PYQ. Last year also it had come in 2018. So it competitively blocks the binding of acetylcholine to its receptors. Next, IV anesthetic without myocardial depression is answer etomidate. Next question, not used for pediatric induction is desflurane because it is pungent and it causes laryngospasm in children. Sivoflurane is preferred in children. Next question, agent with no pain on injection is answer ketamine. Next question, most commonly used to monitor the depth of anesthesia is bispectral index. Uh, it is a processed EEG parameter that quantifies the anesthesia depth in 0 to 100 scale and it is widely used to prevent intraoperative awareness. Next, pulse oximeter measures. Answer is oxygen saturation, that is SpO2. Next, moving on to need PG Anastasia questions of 2020. Best prognostic test for perioperative cardiac risk is answer dobutamine stress echocardiography. It is a highly sensitive for detecting myocardial ischemia and predicting perioperative cardiac events. It stimulates the stress to assess cardiac function non-invasively. And exercise ECG is less sensitive in patients who are unable to exercise. So... Myocardial scintigraphy is also less uh, specific than the dobutamin stress echocardiography. So dobutamin stress echocardiography is the one used here. Next, capnograph with curare notch indicates a spontaneous breathing. All of the capnograph images are very, very important, guys. Please go through them because uh, this is, again, something which everyone will learn and come. And if you want to get into a government college, into a good uh, seat, into a good college, then you need to uh, learn the capnograph because uh, you can't miss out on this question. It's a very important one. So I've provided the capnograph images and the conditions in which they are seen. So at least this much you should learn and also the basic basic capnograph image that also you should learn because questions can come uh, directly about uh, which part uh, in the graph denotes about expiration which part uh, represents the dead volume all that next a 50 year old patient with history of hypertension and diabetes mellitus developed the following rhythm his bp is 90 by 40 he has feeble pulse what is the next step of management so answer is dc cardioversion because unstable supraventricular tachycardia requires synchronized dc cardioversion and adenosine and diltiazem are used for stable 
SVT and uh, for unstable arrhythmias, DC cardio version is preferred. So whenever it is unstable, go for DC cardio version. Whenever it is stable, go for the uh, maneuvers and then go for adenosine. Next one, a patient is given a nicotinic receptor antagonist as a muscle relaxant. Which drug is given post-operatively to recover from muscle weakness? Answer is neostigmin. It is an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor which increases acetylcholine re levels and thereby reverses the non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers by enhancing the competition at the neuromuscular junction. Now moving on to Anastasia 2021 PYQs, a patient undergoing surgery is maintained on Anastasia with halothane. During the procedure, patients suddenly develop hypothermia and muscle rigidity. Which drug is most likely implicated in this condition? Answer is saxamethonium and volatile anesthetics like halothane which trigger malignant hypothermia. Next, how to confirm endotracheal tube placement? It is by N-tidal CO2 which is a gold standard for confirming endotracheal tube placement. Next airway maneuver shown in this image is head tilt and chin lift. This again is an important question. Head tilt and chin lift and jaw thrust uh, images are being given and uh, uh, the question is asked about which maneuver is shown. Uh, it is a, a very frequent question so please learn this. Next one, a young male patient was given regional block with 0.25% BPVacaine for minor surgical procedure. Shortly after injection, patient became unresponsive, pulse was not recordable. What would be the best cause of management for this patient? Answer is CPR plus 20% intralipid because BPVacaine toxicity, the management is intralipid, 20%. Next question, patient presented with headache, vomiting, fever, meningitis is suspected. While performing lumbar puncture, last structure to uh, to peers is answer arachnoid membrane because we are reaching the subarachnoid space uh, in order to infiltrate in order to do the lumbar puncture so last uh, before reaching the subarachnoid space is the arachnoid membrane Next one, need PG 2022 PYQs. Image given below shows neuromuscular monitoring of the patient after anesthesia. Most commonly used nerve is ulnar nerve. Next one, identify the mask in the image used for patient with COVID-19 infection. Answer is NRBM mask. Now, 2023 PYQs, airway maneuver in the image. Again, uh, PY, previous year, it was again being asked. So, head till chin lift image was being given. And next one, drug of choice. Uh, for preoperative uh, antibiotic, a drug of uh, choice which is used as the preoperative antibiotic in cardiac surgery. So, always in preoperative uh, so cardiac uh, preoperative antibiotic in cardiac surgery is cefazolin because it's the first generation cephalosporin and uh, it is the one used as uh, a standard and it is uh, having coverage against staphylococcus aureus and streptococcus species because with, they are the most common surgical site infection causing agents. Next, during resuscitation, when is this given position indicated? It came in EPG 24 also. So, it is indicated when pulse and breathing are present. Next, need PG 2024 PYQ for shift 1. Uh, a patient on mechanical ventilation for surgery in prone position is maintained on uh, positive end expiratory pressure. What is the significance of the same? Answer is it prevents the alveolar collapse and the atelectasis of the lung. Next question, patient presented with features of acute exacerbation of COPD and requires mechanical ventilation. There was a constant drop in saturation and on auscultation, vesicular breath sounds were heard on the left side. Chest radiography shows the following image and what is the expected auscultatory finding on the right side? Answer is absent breath sounds because it is a case of right-sided pneumothorax. Next question, in which of the, in the following condition, which of the following procedure would be difficult to perform? So, the one difficult to perform is um, tracheostomy because the x-ray shows uh, tracheal deviation in this x-ray. So, uh, it can be because of causes like mass effect, pleural effusion or pneumothorax. But when there is a tracheal deviation, then tracheostomy is difficult to be performed. Next question, identify the instrument. Answer is nasopharyngeal airway device. So, uh, instruments are again um, important. Questions keep coming up from them. Next, a patient was given a local anesthetic before IV cannulation. What is true? So, this is um, an image of a bias block and uh, the true statement is that it is a eutectic mixture. 
and uh, here the topical anesthetic uh, commonly used for before iv cannulation is emla cream and the emla cream is for you take a mixture of local anesthetic yeah it is not a bias block guys it is it is a uh, uh, just iv cannulation itself alone so here emla cream is used which consists of lidocaine 2.5 percentage and prilocaine 2.5 percentage Next, an 80-year-old man with COVID-19 has POT of 84 percentage is receiving oxygen at 4 liter per minute via nasal cannula. What is the most appropriate next step? Answer is uh, switch to face mask uh, because SPO2 of 84 percentage is critically low and it requires correction. So, we need to go to face mask, either simple or NRBM face mask. Next question, which of the following agent can be used for reversal of vecuronium when renal function tests are normal? Answer is Sugammadex because vecuronium is an NDMR that is non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocker and it is used to induce muscle relaxation during anesthesia. So, reversal of NDMR can be achieved by either acetylcholinesterase inhibitors like neostigmin or by agents like Sugammadex which encapsulate the steroidal uh, NDMRs, mainly the rocuronium and the vecuronium. Next question, a 3-year-old child presented with drowsiness and refusal to feed. On examination, child was in stupor and ECG is shown below. What is the next step to be done? So here, this is a case of pulseless ventricular tachycardia. And uh, here, we need to do defibrillation followed by CPR for 2 minutes. And then we have to check the rhythm. If at all the rhythm is shockable, then give the shock. Next question, need PG 2024 shift to pyqs what is true about the following position so this is a position which is the sniffing position used for intubation next what is the procedure being done in the image so this is the image of a bias block Next question, a patient is undergoing implant surgery for his upper limb. On giving uh, general anesthesia, he develops tachycardia, rise in body temperature and rigidity of muscles. Which drug is most likely to have caused this? Answer is halothane. Next question, 